I wanted to talk about shooting with wireless units like the one I'm shooting with right now, which is the Saramonic uh, UW Mic 10 system, which I've been using for years, and also shooting with little recorders like this. This is the Tascam, what is it, the 10L that everybody seems to love, the DR10L. So let's talk about these and using them for live events such as weddings. Oh yeah, you're gonna wanna see this. Hi, I'm Mike Turner, your friendly filmmaker. And uh, right now we're talking about audio. And um, the reason I want to talk about this is because I've recently just bought the Tascam DR10L this wedding season. So basically I've had it since the spring. And I've used it now, I think at about eight or nine weddings. And, oh, here we go. Tons of, let me show you what's going on here. So this guy's, let me show you what's going on, just so yeah. So this guy's mowing the grass. And then I got planes flying above. This is like the worst spot you could pick to shoot a damn YouTube video. I don't know what the hell I was thinking, to be honest. So right now we're talking about using wireless audio at weddings and using recorders. So if you go, to, if you look at my channel, I've, I've, I've touched on this topic before in the past and uh, I think on a couple of different episodes, but I want to touch on it again because now the way I shoot is a little different from the way I was shooting weddings in the past. Before I was always using this Saramonic uh, UHF system. This thing right here, um, you get two you get two transmitters and one receiver so it's like a dual band uhf system uh and it's very good i think it's 100 channels um it's made of metal uh, i've been using it now for i think about three years and one of the receivers that i had not the, the receiver the uh yeah the receiver the receiver stopped working like a year ago um because i kept plugging it into my my camera and sending phantom power to it accidentally and I did that like three or four times and then it just stopped working, which to me wasn't surprising because I'm sending power to something that doesn't need power. So I had to replace that. But other than that, man, the reception that I get out of these things is really good. And matter of fact, right now for this episode, that's what you're hearing is a ceremonic. And I've used it for, I don't know, probably like a hundred of these YouTube episodes because I do have over a hundred. And I would say I probably use it for about a hundred episodes or so. And the sound quality is really good and you guys never hear any frequency problems or anything like that. It really works well. Um, the problem is, like any other wireless system, it's never going to be perfect. There are always going to be situations where you're getting like frequency pops and interference. You just can't control it. It's just going to happen every now and then. And I would say it only happens to like 5% of the weddings I do, but even though it's, it's a small percentage, the fact that it happens is not good. Um, I always have backups running anyway, so I'll have like, because I have two of these transmitters, so there'll be one on the groom, there'll be one on the efficient, and then I'll also have like a, uh, my Tascam DR40, which is the bigger recorder, that will be plugged into the sound system like during a ceremony or something. So even if I'm getting like a lot of frequency problems with the wireless, I sometimes will have the Tascam to back up. So I'll just defer to that one and get the audio off of that. But there are some ceremonies where we're shooting outdoors and there's no audio. So in those situations, then you're totally reliant on the ceremonic to perform with no interference. And that's really risky. So that's why I started using the Tascam DR10Ls. And man, I gotta tell you, this little thing here is really not that expensive. I don't even remember how much I paid for it. I'll just put the price somewhere, but it's worth it. <laughs> Whatever I paid for it, I would definitely say it's worth it. Um, I feel much better using this at a wedding over the ceremonics. I still use the ceremonics for a lot of these YouTube videos. I still use it for my commercial work because when I'm doing commercial work, I got on the headphones. If something's not sounding right, I can correct it. I can say, okay, uh, cut. Let's just fix this and boom, boom, boom. And then we're good. I can't do that at a ceremony. You know, I can't say, oh, cut uh, before you kiss her. Let's just fix the audio. 
And let's, you can't you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? You can't you can't stop. You can't stop the wedding. You just can't. So if if you're hearing interference, and a lot of times I'm I'm actually listening, I have on headphones. Psychologically, it's just messing me up anyway. So to be able to hear that I'm getting interference in that moment and that I can't do shit about it, it just freaks me out. And it makes me so stressed. I'm already stressed shooting a wedding. You're already stressed. Trust me, anybody who shoots weddings, I don't even know why I do this because it's so freaking stressful. It's very rewarding. That's why I do it as well. You know, it's good pay. It's good payday too. But it's very rewarding when a couple come back to you and they tell you, oh, man, you capture everything. I can't believe you caught that. Oh, you caught my grandmother doing the, the break dance thing. And oh, man, like, you know, they love that. You know what I'm saying? And I love that. I love to hear that stuff. So that's why I do it. But it's very stressful. And it adds stress when the thing is getting interference and you can't fix it. But when you put something like this on them, you hit record and you just walk away. It's just recording. It's on the groom. It's on the efficient. This just recording. And you don't got to worry about it. You can't even hear it at that point. So even if it is messing up, I can't hear it. <laughs> and sometimes in some cases, that's better. Because so long as you set this up and you have a backup and maybe a backup to the backup, which I normally do have, you know one of your backups is going to get it anyway. So then you're not like highly neurotic worrying about it the whole damn time. So that's how I roll with it now. I don't really use the, the wireless sets at, at weddings. Even if I wasn't using the Saramonics and I was using like a Sennheiser G4 or like the Sony unit that's just like the Saramonic. I can't, I don't remember the name of it, UP something. Um, electronic, even the electronic, something like super high end expensive, I would still be worried. And you still would probably get interference every now and then. They're just not going to be perfect, you know. So I say, personally, if you're shooting weddings, right, for all my people that want to shoot weddings out there and you're looking to buy some audio recorders, you're looking to get into some audio, I say don't waste your money on Sennheiser G3, G4s and, you know, whatever, whatever's because those are expensive as hell anyway. You spend like $1,200 for two of them or whatever. They're, they're expensive. Just get these things, man. What are they? Under $200. Get two of them. You know, wire the groom, wire the efficient, you're done. And matter of fact, I only have one of these because I already have a, I have an Olympus one that I use, which is the DM, I think it's called the DM260. Uh, I've had that for like three years as well. Got it used off of eBay years ago. It's slightly bigger than this, but it comes with a case that has a, a belt clip on it. So I clip it to the, to the groom or to the efficient, same way. Put it in auto mode, hit record, put, put, uh, there's a little switch for a hold mode so that when you hit the buttons it can't it can't stop I do that and I walk away and it's you're all good so anyway that's my advice to you man if you're doing uh, weddings and stuff first things you should invest in I would say get yourself maybe a pair of these if you can't afford a pair at least get one of them um, and like I said before in other videos I would get like the Tascam DR40 which is bigger and it has the XLR and quarter inch inputs so that you can plug into a DJ's mixer or get an out from the speaker so that you can get the speeches from uh, your reception and also the music from the reception if you want that too. That's it, man. Get those two. Tascam DR10L, Tascam DR40, and you're set. That's really all you need. And you're gonna get good audio all the time, I promise you. Links for what I'm talking about are down below. Um, I'm shooting with the Canon XF400 right now. For those who want to know, because people always ask me what I'm shooting with, that's what I'm shooting with. Audio is being provided by both of these, but I'm probably going to def um, use the audio from the Saramonic so that I don't have to sync and post. So there you go. Oh, matter of fact, that, that, was, that was actually the original reason why I used to shoot with this only was because you don't have to sync and post, right? Because now... The good audio is just with the video, so your vows and all that stuff from the ceremony, it's already there. You don't have to sync. So that's why I used to always shoot with the wireless. But honestly, syncing these days, especially if you're using Premiere like I'm using, it's not hard to do. Premiere does it for you. Uh, you know, it takes a little, it takes a few minutes, not a big deal. Who cares? I know there's a lot of people that use Pluralize. You know, if you use Pluralize, then who cares about syncing? It's easy anyway. And even when you got to do it manually, it's still not that very hard to sync your audio to your video. Like I said, links for everything that I'm talking about are down below. Links to the equipment that's used to create this video that you're watching right now is also below. So no need to ask me in the comments. It's already down there. Check it out. Um, of course, 
If you want to see reviews on other audio equipment, you know, check my channel. Uh, go to the playlist. There's a playlist for audio. Go see what I made about that. If you want to get some information about shooting at weddings, blah, blah, blah. There's all types of playlists. Check out my channel. Something for everyone. Bring the kids. Bring your wife. Bring your mother. Just go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm Mike Turner, and I guess I'll see you soon.